What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to some more Vicky 3 as Byzantium now. It's the year 1869, so we're about, what's that? 30-ish years into the game, starts in 36. Yeah, we're about 30-ish about 30 years in the game, about a third of the way through. Um, we're doing quite well. We're at 17 million GDP, which puts us right around number 13 in the rankings here. And we can close, start closing the gap on some of the greater powers here. We also have a, a huge surplus of funds since we converted to uh, Byzantium. So let's go ahead and invest some of that into our different, um, different states here. Let's start by peasants here. And let's go ahead and go up to three in all of these other ones. And let's start building... Um, Oh, it just changed. When I, it just updated. Uh, whatever. I'm okay going over our construction limit here. Catch that investment. What we're going to do now in this episode is we are going to get through our construction queue here, uh, build these universities down at the bottom, and it's all, all full steam ahead uh, from here on out to make up our lost ground. Really what we want to do is we want to start getting uh, getting some wars to people that have claims on regions, or that control regions that we have claims on, I should say. And so the big one there is going to be the Turks uh, and the Ottomans, but they are as weak as can be, so we can just really take things from them as fast as possible. It's why I'm not doing any wars right now. I want to let our infamy decay, because regardless of whatever we take, we're going to get the most bang for our buck in taking the core lands that border us and make our home country army uh, stronger. Uh, we have this army here. I need to start thinking about expanding out our armies and having more than just a single one on the home front, because we're going to start having a lot of very split wars. Uh, so what do we want to name this army here? Also, migration controls. I need to go ahead and pause real quick. Uh, pause. I couldn't use spacebar, which is why it took me forever to find that button. Uh, we'll do some armed forces relations here. We'll just call this the um, Army of the Basilica. That's probably not spelled correctly, but uh, who cares? Uh, confirm. Invalid name. There's a space at the start. Thank you. All right, we're going to start putting some troops into that army eventually. I want to get my armies flushed out and fill up here. But let's see. I think we can actually afford all these construction sectors that I built. And we're not even doing too terrible. I can actually improve and bolster the industrialists again. Or I could leverage more taxes. I don't think we need to leverage any more taxes. We're doing good where we're at. Opium tax is getting us a ton of funds. And we're actually still making money despite me building extra things. We're up to 130 construction capacity. What are we doing in terms of tech? Tech is getting general staff to make our armies even stronger. We've broken through into the next strata over here. Um, I think what I want to do is after, after general staff, what do we want to go for? Well, we got egalitarianism. We're getting nationalism right now. I want to maybe hit some of these other ones up here. Bankroll and take on debt are cool, but maybe we make a play towards quinine. We don't have the, the tech to go for quinine just yet, though. Private health and public health could be good for us. Alternatively, we can go for this one over here that gets... Well, where's the one that gets better stuff for the philosophy department? Maybe we... Is that better than just going for military ideas? I think we finish off some of the easier military ideas. And then we're going to want to circle back and probably make progress over in this region on things like dynamite. Dynamite's really good. In fact, let's just put dynamite right in the middle. We'll do two military ideas, and then we'll do dynamite. And we'll circle back and finish the other two military ideas. I like that for now. Um, I need to also work on getting some of the society ideas eventually. Central banking will get us more money. I'm kind of just going to let this spread. We've got most of what we want here. Organized sports will let us do uh, our special journal entry for bringing back the Olympics, which is cool. I'd love to do that one. Otherwise, we have an election coming up. Uh, looks like the Agrarian Party will carry the day. Going to be a rural folk-focused uh, Let's Play, it seems. I don't mind. We're doing well with the Royal Folk in power. 18 million GDP. Private construction is soaring off. We're burning through our 2 million investment pool pretty easily now. And I think that's where we let it lie. 
When is our truce up with the Ottomans? Truce is up with them in four months. Okay, I'm going to step away for that required time. And I'll bring you back once it's time to uh, jump on the Turks and start uh, showing them who's boss here. Um, who's currently in a custom union with Persia. And Persia... Okay, I'm fine fighting Persia. Persia doesn't scare me. This is all fine. But we will let this churn through and I'll bring you guys back when it's time to fight the Turks. Okay, our truce is up with the Ottoman Empire. Let's go ahead and see what all we can do in terms of diplomatic demands with those guys. So we have claims on a ton of different states over here. Yeah, a lot of these are really good options for us. But I think, what do we want to take first? I think closing the gap with Bulgaria would be pretty good up here. What do you got? Some iron mines versus coming over here and grabbing some... Yeah, let's do, let's do Bulgaria. Mac demands. I want to return state. I want to get the ones up in this region if possible. Yeah, we'll just do return state on this one. Just looking at Persia defending... Looking at Trolltania, Oman, Hejaz, and the Ionians. That's fine. Let's do this. And I could call in GB with a banned slavery. So what we want to do here is how much is that banned slavery? It's 20. And we have a total of 40 reasons. So let's go ahead and do... I want to do kind of the cheaper ones here. I want to do... Southern Serbia. And we want to make that a primary war goal. And then we're going to call in GB for banned slavery. And that's why we don't even have to fight the war ourselves, right? GB gets involved. We get two claims, clearing up our northern regions. And we just keep pushing through. Okay, we will raise one of our armies. I want to make sure they are there to fight for us. We're going to keep our home army available. Keep them in this region. Do I have a truce with Egypt soon? In 11 months, we can fight Egypt. I didn't actually get a border with them, which is going to be something I regret, because I think I can take Ankara and Adana from them and add those to our states. This also means no one's going to get involved in this, because it's just... Yeah, literally everyone backed out when they saw that GB got involved. Just fine. This is going to make the Ottoman Empire as weak as can be. We do need to take Montenegro at some point. When that's going to be, I have no idea. Get reform, do we use it? No, keep it. Keep our current group in. We started to lose money. Um, I think our construction sectors are actually starting to hit us with their costs. There is migration controls. Don't mind that at all. What do you go for next? Well, uh, private schools, it would be good for us. Debating that one. Portion taxation would also be helpful. Can't do it, though. Maybe we do private schools. There have to be poor laws, but... Or colonial exploitation. What resettlement? It's going to be hard to get this to pass because we have the rural folk here. Let's try to do colonial starting wages, subsistence output, manufacturing industries, plantations, and mines. Let's do colonial exploitation. We have all these unincorporated states here where we're not building a ton of, uh, a ton of things. Like we have a bunch of mines and stuff. That's why we're going to go and push that through. Losing quite a bit of money. I think it's from my army being raised, probably. I think that's the likely candidate there. Ottomans have fallen. We have a revolt sponsored by the Intelligentsia, who are very upset with us. Failed petition, minus 12. Unpopular compromises and other reasons. Okay, we are burning through our gold reserves a mile a minute. Gotta figure out why that is. Mainly it looks like it's from construction capacity. We have construction goods that are very expensive. Northern Thrace and Scopia need to have um, some of these built. 
I also need to do all of these ones. So let's do Scopia first. Uh, I need to convert all of these to rail. If we're going to go and build us a railroad in this region. And we've done likewise already in Northern Fraser. Are these guys all on rail? No, these need to be rail. Wherever we build railways, we convert all of our places to use rail transportation because I like to and because it makes the railways uh, more profitable. And it incentivizes the private investment to go and build their stuff here, uh, which I don't mind myself. Uh, do you have an urban center here? You do. Okay. Looks like the reason we're suffering is because we're losing access to the British market. They are in a revolt, which is unfortunate. Oddments are full annexed. And there we go. A couple new states to bring in. We'll go and core all of these. Uh, five years to incorporate these. And five years for that one as well. We're also going to reset them to our type. Uh, rail transportation. Oh, so now everything wants to be done on rail. Interesting. Okay, but that's all good. Ottomans can no longer access. Well, I guess they can because they have that little tidbit there. So we should be now have our truce up soon with Egypt. I'm interested to see if we can also claim some of their stuff. Likely we can. Also, it's like how it's either you are guaranteed to succeed or you stall. There's no in-between between these two. Can I get someone that will help me get this law passed? Looks like a no. That is a shame. We'll give it a chance, but we likely won't have a uh, colonial exploitation passing anytime soon unless we get really lucky with our rolls here. And now we just kind of have to suffer because the because of Brit, right? Unless I can I could probably go and do a return state on somebody else here. Like Northern Serbia here. All right, Northern Serbia. You have an alliance with United Principalities. There's a customs union and has a trade agreement with Russia. So if I went and did return state here, Austria Hungary is about equal. I want to do this. And I want to have both armies available for this. Just the feeling that I have here. No one will get involved. That is fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So Britain against the, our own revolt. We can get an obligation for them for getting involved. Against the Anglo-Indian Peasants' Revolt. I will take a free obligation with GB any day of the week. That is great for us. Let's get a claim on Persia since we're near that region. There goes United Principalities. Go and just defend this front here. Russia side with us. United Kingdom, United States side with us. That's all good. We have a defensive pact with Russia now, by the way, which will be really good if someone tries to attack us. Losing a ton of money. I can't really stop that. Let's go ahead and rival both of these guys. Also, our armies. I want to crank these guys up to a better level. Upgrade all of our infantry to skirmish now. I don't think these guys are repping skirmish infantry right now. They are, actually. So good thing I'm doing this. So with this war, I think we just hold here and don't actually take any other land here. Do I not have a claim in this region? I don't, which is why I can't take that stuff. Okay, drop Italy and get me into Nubia. Right, I really need GB to get their shit together. We're going to have to pause our construction while this is going on. It's just too hurtful. Yeah, maybe raise our taxes too. How is our army coming over here? I need you to come and get to this front and defend it. Ignore everything else that's going on because it does not matter. Double check this army is set to defend. They are. Mobilization goods should be fine. Yeah, should be fine. We do railways for both of these guys. Let's not reduce their org, though, while we're at war. Go 
There's the Pheasant Revolt with India. And we're all fine. Okay, how are we doing on these defenses? We're winning our defenses here. We can just hold out on this front here. Because these guys will eventually capitulate if we just wait long enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and support those guys. I think the roll folk like us a little bit more. Let's go ahead and add some conscripts to our army here, or the home army. I'm worried is why I'm doing this. Let's get some cannon conscripts too. Raise those guys. Upgrade all of these, please. objective. We are winning out in these fights, um, so we just got to hang on more. It's a big one. Who's attacking and who's being dumb? Who the hell's doing that? Defend. That's actually trashed us a little bit there by doing that. Let's go back to doing our construction. Market access has been fixed. We're still losing a ton of money, though, which is worrying. Raise up our taxes, lower our government wages. We'll just tank this. Uh, let's go ahead and tax luxury furniture, and let's tax... We'll, uh, we'll do coffee just for this war. I don't want to do liquor tax. Yeah, that one aggressive attack really hurt us quite badly here. What are these guys looking for? They want revert, revert claims and they want southern Serbia. What if I were to do this and just do like a naval invasion? Like I can't actually do naval invasion. But raise all conscripts and come and defend this front here. Um, let's go back to our mobilization goods here. Get all of these for you guys. We'll deal with the credit problems. Uh, just show me the make peace screen. So they're losing, they have gold reserves. It's 45 man army strength, it's kind of crazy. Trained hand, okay. Yeah, not the best with that one fight we took. Might start to see that bite us in the ass a little bit. Go back to the higher level of training, please. That'll help. How's the armed forces feel about us? Okay, here's what we do. I'm gonna pay our army a little bit more to get the armed forces on our side. Overview, pay them more. That should activate our third thing here for patriotic fervor. Making our defense even stronger. We're getting back our balance of power. It was rough there for a while. Oh, come on, hold, please. Damn, that one's done. How are we suffering this so madly? We're still having terrible market access. Fuck, okay. Now actually occupy the war goal. We're going to lose this. Actually, maybe I can push. Now we just have no manpower, man. Just have no manpower. Damn it all. All right, so I've save scummed, and we're going to try something here. Where we move all of our armies into the army with our best general here. Then we promote this guy up to the highest level. Because this guy has adamant defense. And my thinking here 
is that by moving all these armies here, um, we'll get more return by using the army of the Basilica. So move all these over, keep the generals there. And we now have all the armies under the guy with adamant defense. So theoretically, we'll do a little bit better here in our fights. Still kind of getting railed, though. We have conscripts. Can I raise more conscripts? We're actually full on conscripts. Let's go back to funding our military a bunch. Pay our government wages. I just need to get out of this. This is... Unfortunate to me. This I, I couldn't go back far enough to avoid that one bad attack we did that just absolutely destroyed our, our manpower. Also, these blunders don't help. Well, we're just going to lose it out, I think. Unless we can actually hold one of these times. No. Getting closer, though. What's this guy have? He's just an experienced defensive strategist. They have like Skanderbeg or something. Let me revoke this claim. Come on. I'd gladly lose a claim if it meant we could get out of this. Oh, they've stopped pushing. We have numbers. I think I need to actually push here. Yeah, I need to push. Let's try. Nope. Nope, we're going to lose Serbia. Oh, shit. Take it. Take it. Come on. Fuck, man. Let me try that again. Okay, so my thinking here is if we actually start causing casualties, we might be able to get what's his face out faster. If we get United Principalities out, we should win faster here. Like they're winning, don't get me wrong. We just got colonial exploitation. And stop that right there. Remove that. I want this to be our strategic objective. Just take back the one land that they have claim on. Their war support's gone. Six reasons. Problem here is they have a really good defensive guy in power as well. Push. I will lose the claim, yeah. Shit! I fucked it. I fucked it again. Let's go back. Go back. Go back. We can get this. We can get this. I'm finally just gonna... I don't want to lose a state. I feel it's just like such a terrible step backwards here. All right. If, oh, God. We were so close, dude. We just turned the tide, too. Okay, whatever. Um, I got to give armies back to different people. So let's go ahead and give... 30 infantry... And two Lancers, or three Lancers to the African Corps. Take those back. And the Army Basilica can keep the uh, the Home Army can take everybody else. Okay, so we, we ended up only losing our claim, which still sucks. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. I bung bungled that pretty hard, if I must say so. Um, yeah, not ideal, the way that turned out. Uh... I don't know how I could have done better there. Other than that one attack that just absolutely wasted our manpower was just so bad for us. If we held out for that attack, we could have done a lot better, I think. Good news is we're uh, back to only losing a little bit of money. Our interest payments are quite expensive, so I need to actually pay off my interest. Let's go ahead and stop our taxes here. Uh, we're losing a bunch of money from tax waste because we did get colonial growth here. Uh, but I can fix that. Tax waste, we're losing 14k. If I go here and click on this and go to filing cabinets. All right, we make a lot more now. Uh, let's unpause our construction and see. Are we still in the negative? 
Only 5k in the negative, though. That's not terrible. Can we do any colonization? I do think I want to do a Kenya colonization, even though we don't have quinine. Getting a little colonization running will not be terrible for us. Speaking of quinine, it's not spreading. Uh, that's awful. Um, if I just cut back government wages here and do another tax, I might be able to counteract some of our stuff here. No, we just let's pause the construction and get things back in, in the, the way they need to be. We've kind of gone a little stagnant here. We should have an obli... Do you owe an obligation to us? No, we've paid off an obligation, though. So no claim on Serbia, which is a shame. That's a 1.8 million uh, pound province. Would have been really good to have. But we still have claims on other stuff. We can always come back and snatch you later. So what can we do next? Diplomatic actions. Let's say if we want to go return state. We have ones against the Egyptians. We're quite strong. Let's let our army replenish. I'm concerned about how our army is footing the bill uh, for some of these fights. And not coming out ahead. So let's go and replenish. I'm going to pay off some of our debt. That way our interest goes down from the 2k it currently has. And then I'll bring you guys back once we can make our next move. Alright, we paid off our uh, debt that we were in. So we're back into the green here. We're now making money and can go back to doing construction. Which is good. Uh, we're getting universities. Our innovativeness is that's about to be at like around 70-ish. A little bit more once we keep hiring. So let's call it like 75-ish on innovativeness. I want to try to bring that to the cap now. I think we're good enough to where we can do that. We're about 40 years into the game. So still a good amount of time left. GDP-wise, okay, we're, we're getting up to the, about that 20 million mark. Um, What do we do? 15 infamy. Could expand down here. We're getting a gold mine in Aiden. I'm very sad that these guys were so tough with their armies there. 21k here. We have a 30-man fleet in the med right now. Let's make sure you guys are stationed and not taking attrition. Yeah, you're doing well. Um, You're already insurrectionary. Whatever. They, uh... Church guys are pissed off that we are going to get rid of, uh, what's it called? Uh, religious school. So we're trying to get rid of it. And so they're, they're angry. They're throwing a tantrum. What do we want to invest some time and money into? What's expensive in our market here? Coal's expensive, as is... Okay, we need to get some more steel industries, I think. Where do we have the available peasants for this? And or unemployed. No unemployed, but we have peasants. Uh, Southern Serbia can use some steel. Let's throw those in the queue. Speaking of steel, how are we doing with iron? Do we have excess of iron now? We do have excess of iron. We're back to losing money again. I'd like to not be losing money. Can I up the investment? Let's up the investment in education while we change this law here. Here we're starting to lose some infamy here. Do I fight Egypt? Consider the 18th rank power, 14th rank na navy in terms of military strength. You are still a protectorate of GB. Can I attack you without getting GB involved? I get an alliance with you. I actually don't hate that. If I did this, got an alliance with Shewa. They border us and are our friend. And let's say we did like a, you know, a retake Crete, right? Like a move like this. Call in Shewa. Let's add, you know, let's add some more stuff. We can get a war goal with you for banning slavery, right? So let's just go and uh, let's return Crete. Let's get Ankara and let's get Adana. So Ankara, Adana. And let's just, uh, what do we have here? Let's make these primary and then we're going to call in GB. Uh, we're just going to... Which is better, ban slavery or open market? Let's, let's go ahead and ban slavery in Egypt. That's going to shift up their government, maybe cause them to have a revolt. They have claims back on the Nile. Okay, GB is going to fight this war for us. We don't even need to worry about anything here. 
Uh, I will probably raise this army, though. Well, maybe. Let's see how fast someone's going to come over here. Let's get the army over there. Might as well. Let's actually get the home army available. And we're going to do a naval invasion. That's what we're going to do. Naval invade gets across the strait. We're losing money. I need to find a way to not lose money. And what's the best way to do that? Why is our... Oh, it's because we it's up. We upgraded our military. That's why we're losing so much money. Is because I, I paid my military to the higher tier for that last war. And upgrading 80 troops is expensive. They're trying to take Crete. Why would you take Crete when you can just go straight to Lower Egypt? Is my question. Uh, Radical Kirko will assume the leadership of the rural folk. Sounds great. Uh, get the bonus popularity here. Get me private schools, please. Save for change. Bonus private school chance. Give me private schools. Come on. I need my private school money. This is not doing well. But we're actually doing fine in the south here, so it doesn't matter. We did force them to put a bunch of guys on the front here, though, and we should take Crete. So cancel that one. What do we build next? Goods that sell well. Let's get some. Let's finish all of our logging camps here. I'm gonna invest wherever we have logging camps. I just want it built. It needs to be built. It, we will end up making money off this as the game progresses, regardless of what happens right here. Let's also go and make sure we have railways wherever we need it. We'll need some of these to come up eventually. Uh, Radical in the trade union. And we'll bolster the Intelligentsia. I will lose the support there. Real folk are about to go really angry with us. That's why we need to get this law passed. 97 days. Meanwhile, the war has been won. Thank you, Great Britain. Oman gets... Yeah, spread it! That goes a revolution in Oman. Let there be more. 60 days. Uh, let's get the lower chance here. Austria Hungary has expelled diplomats with us. Good thing we have a defensive pact with Russia. And we could get one with England if they so choose to like us. Intelligence here now radical. Yeah, we're really radicalizing everybody. We're going to be back to Parliament Republic, boys. It took a long time. We'll be there. Damn, yeah, slavery's been banned. We have money. We have new areas to claim and make ours. Wow, that state is already incorporated, so we can just go and reset these, right? These are already incorporated? No, these need to be incorporated. 20 years for these. Five years for you, though, for Adana. We'll do the Adana one. Okay, here comes private schools. Should pass. If I don't pay my military as much, I need to deal with this problem of cash flow. If I just cut back a couple construction sectors, will we make it? Right, there's private schools. We need to go immediately and do Parliamentary Republic. Everybody loves this except for the church. Let's go back to Parliament. Church be damned. Making money again. Cool. Hopefully that maintains. Because I need to... Oh, we have stuff queued, so it's not because we don't have things in queue. Awesome. Back to 20 million GDP. If we look at our how we compare. In GDP limits, we're about to cross Spain. We're the 11th rank... Uh, GDP power, 16th ranked normal power. Uh, can we not go? We can't go above 14 because of our current status. I'm fine giving a guy a major general status. I do want to incorporate the state. We're going to incorporate it. 
I know it's going to cost us some money. You can see we're now losing a bunch from unrealized taxes. Um, but I'm, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Just have to maybe build a government administration somewhere we don't have tax income. Uh, one. Ten tax capacity per, so let's do three there. And we'll just leave some in Ampara at the bottom of the queue. Yeah, it goes between being like 4K. We are getting, oh, we're also getting fucking bankrolled by poor score. I forgot about that. I got that from a, a being good with a war here. Yikes. Do we have low... We do have low transportation shortages in some states, which need to be concerned about. Okay, we're wary. We need to get more people to like us. I'm concerned about having people uh, not like support. If we did like an independence movement right now, no one would support us, which is fine. Do we have an alliance with Shewa? We do still have an alliance with you. Who's our truces up with? Turks in 11 months, and then there's Serbia. I do want to visit Serbia again. I want to win this time. Home army, let's promote this guy. Put out our trade routes. These kind of suck. 1k in revenue is not terrible, though. Got some bureaucracy back. We're losing 7k in tax waste. Don't know how much of that is actually from. Who will get me involved here? I get an obligation with Agar against France. Agar, this must be a revolt. Yeah, it's just a normal revolt. Not going to do that. I shall pass. Rather not. So these radicals, what do they endorse? Protected speech, universal suffrage, guaranteed liberties. Guaranteed liberties is great for us. We actually really do want guaranteed liberties. We'll probably try to pass that, honestly, after uh, getting this... Law pass infertile ground. There goes cultural exclusion. So if I stop bolstering the industrialists right now and instead did a tax, don't have enough money to do a good tax, but I can cut and go to a 200 tax. 5k from transportation. Hmm. Revolution for our time. Trade unions are still in charge here. I want to keep getting control over... Um, I, want, I want interesting things to happen in the regions around me. So let's go ahead and drop some of our claims for areas we don't care about. Let's, let's get interested in Europe more. Currently pay 4k in interest. Maybe I pause construction. Let's pause construction and get through our list here. I think that's a good thing to do. Pop Arena Kingdom. Can I do a landing there? I might be able to. My armies are kind of hurt, though. How oh, Oman? Does Zanzibar break free? Zanzibar did break free. What if I protectorated you? Or what if I protectorate Oman? Protectorate Oman. Hejaz, Persia. Yeah, never mind. Let's try protectorate Zanzibar. I want to claim in this area. And we're going to make them ban their slavery. And we'll just leave this to GB to fight for us. Also, just uh, become... No. Keep your current regime, but open your market up. Cool. GB's going to fight that war for us. We'll get a subject under us. And things should work out pretty well there. Credit's almost paid off. I want to do construction again. I miss doing construction. Turkish succession. That's unfortunate. Uh, we'll have to fight that ourselves, I think. 
go and get our credit limit paid. Eastern Thrace, this is a lot of stuff it wants to leave. Let's go ahead and build our construction stuff again. Losing 6k only. Wish there was better ways for us to do this. Turmoil's at 2%. Where is our highest turmoil? I want to try... Where's our pop, though, is the better question. Let's do violent suppression. I want to see if I can get this to go down. I can't. There goes violent suppression. Whatever. We'll fight the war. Okay. Mobilize there. Mobilize here. Uh, I will offer an obligation to GB to just come put this... No, I don't need an obligation for you to come put this down. I'd rather save that. As long as no one gets involved in this. You can call Shewa in too. I've got to remember Shewa. Shewa, you are our ally. You should be called in because you're our ally. I guess you don't want to. You also have a defensive pact. Russia, are you not be able to call in because of a defensive pact? Interesting. Not going to question it. Zanzibar did fall. Let's improve with Zanzibar now. So trial for our emperor. Yeah, I got it passed. There we go. No more emperor. We are a parliamentary republic. We're going to throw everyone into power. Welcome in. And let's go ahead and get rid of wealth voting and just go for universal suffrage right away. Ooh, we got some uh, authority problems are gone now. Where is this African Corps? Ankara Front. He's not going to get there in time. Try to go to Hudbengar. Overall, not terrible. I think we win this still, though. Do you make it in time for that? You probably don't. Let's just go eat this front and clean that up instead. Winning that. This front's over. They should win this if they actually attack. They're choosing to defend a front. They... Okay. I won't question the AI. In case investment went well, we're at private school still. We're gonna get some suffrage. It's been a it's been a really rough period for Byzantine politics, you know. We've became a king, formed Byzantine. We've now ousted the king again. And we're back to being a parliament. So we can't make up it's like our own little revolution here. And goodbye, Turkey. We will remember you no, not fondly at all. Get out. What is this? Conquer Portuguese. No, it's against Marivai. I thought that was Brazil. <laughs> you can see the mistake, though. It looks it looks very similar to Brazil. Get this succession out of here. And with this, can I now get peace, please? There's peace. Let's fix these states. Um, reset this. Reset the stuff that revolted. Look, are we going just rail everywhere? Oh, let's just go to rail. Go into rail. All in on rail. I can't be bothered. Oh, everyone's going back to rail cars. Never mind. I had that backwards. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go all in on rail. Want rail transportation everywhere. Make it happen. It's going to actually be bad for us for a little bit, but we can fix it. We will fix it. Including our silk plantations. 
Um, over here, we need some of these to go just normal glassworks. Right now we're gonna do bone china. We're gonna have to swap over to glassworks when we get the next tier of building material, because that's a big one. Some of you need to go to precision tools. We'll put probably, uh, let's do two of the factories on you. Ammonia is fine. Rail for our public trams. We still use gas street lights. Uh, textile mills. We need some of you to actually be just normal, non-luxury. And then likewise with patent stills. We need to get one of you. Let's take Attica and put it on patent stills. We'll do a second one in the Aced Aegeans. Maybe even a third. So there go. There's four. That should be fine. Water to boiler. No. Can I pay my people again? Oh my god, I can pay my people. They must have cut back some of our uh, construction sectors that we built. Okay, this is incorporated. We can reincorporate that state. This is all incorporated. We have no infamy. Can I use a fight while we have no infamy? Diplomatic demands. Return state. We can fight the Turks. I'm worried about Austria-Hungary getting involved. They hit us both. Okay. There's what we do. Return state, I want to take Bosnia. Obligation to get that one. What's the war goal here? Conquer state, no. So what is it for the obligation? It's 10 reasons. Add this to the war goal. I need Cyprus. And we're going to call in the obligation. That way, we'll have Dad handle it for us. We still get the benefits. You get the U.S. involved. And we can raise our taxes like it's not even a problem. We need to pay off our interest, but we can just do that with our lower income, and we're just going to let it run. Let it ride. Springtime, peoples, we should get this to pass. We just need census suffrage, and this will pass. And we'll have a victorious revolution, which is nice. And then it's Egypt, I think, is next on our fighting board with our 54k troops. Here come the Byzantines. Or not the Byzantines, the British. The other B nation. This should be just a slaughter. Go ahead and just do a little a little thing here. We take our little four stack army that is the Basilica. And let's clean up some of these little states back here. Rotary valve. I think that's the uh, one we need to do for oh, the rotary valves over here. But we can go to nitroglycerin, which we should be doing in all of our places. Rotary valve is going to get us less workers here, but we don't have the coal to fund it is a conundrum. All right, this war's over. Easy conquest. Pat ourselves on the back. We've learned to take it. This is probably the most helpful that I've had a suit, like an overlord be in this game. I think it might just be this patch. I haven't played enough to know. But Great Britain's been very helpful for us to actually get our stuff up and running here, which is awesome. I quite like it. We're at parity with Canada. And we're doing quite, quite well, all things considered. The one, besides the one more with Serbia, we've had a perfect run. I also need to cut my tax on coffee, probably, or luxury furniture, but I want to not be losing money before I do that. This war is over. How the Ottomans have fallen. Okay, so we just got tons of suffrage passed. What else can we do? Cultural exclusion, maybe? Guy like the bureaucrats. We've got fresh from army. I want to do guaranteed liberties. Oh, we need free speech. Let's move towards free speech. What are we missing? To complete with a revolutionary victory, all of these. These are... This is... Oh, we need to be at peace. Okay. Peace is on the way. How are our 
Okay, 81% innovativeness. We can get 20 more. 81's not bad. It's also not a percentage. I don't know why I said percent there. All right, Freedom Equality Brotherhood. Um, freedom of Thought, Freedom of Trade. Uh, let's just keep doing... What's Reformer? So what's the difference here? Do Free Thought and Free Trade. Let's go ahead and get bonus legitimacy. Everybody loves us. And there goes the rights of assembly. Cool. Now these states we just gained, I need to incorporate them. Let's go and reset them. Uh, get these. And then we want to incorporate anyone that is needed. 21 bureaucracy and 50 bureaucracy. It's going to take five years for each of those because we share kind of like a homeland focus. Uh, I just want to eat you, if I'm honest, Montenegro. But that's all that taken care of. We have no truce with the Egyptians. They would be our next fight. We need to get an interest in some regions to do that, though. For instance, South Africa. Um, let's get a claim over in Persia, I guess. We are still sitting at zero. Okay. I think we need to put a cut. I need to look around and see what we want to do. We have zero infamy, so I need to be getting my armies active in some region. Um, it's going to be tough to see where we can do that. First off, let's reduce the autonomy of Zanzibar. Ignore that revolution. Also, ignore Portugal. Maybe we fight Marina Kingdom, finally. They got 50 troops. Our navy is strong enough to probably land one of our armies there. What do we think they're repping? in their armies here. Can we see? And they have irregulars. We could probably take Marina's Kingdom. In fact, I'm going to do that as our, as our next war goal. We're going to go for this. Uh, but for now, I'm going to put a cut in. We'll do that more in the next episode. I'm getting... This one's running a little bit long. Um, it's been whirlwind. We had the one bad war that I had to do some save scumming to get something out of and not absolutely lose southern Serbia. But other than that, we've been just charting along and, and plugging away, which is going really well. Uh, we've not had a ton of growth, it feels like, this episode, so maybe I need to focus more inward. But doing all these logging camps, it will help us. I mean, if you look at it, it's it's still a pretty high in-demand good. Um, and this is just really building up our personal market for them when we want to go um, and expand otherwise. And once we get the, the uh, logging camp, maybe we go and look towards making a huge market for like these types of luxury goods. Uh, maybe we'd start to look at getting involved with China. Maybe get a treaty port somewhere over here. Uh, from Portuguese, maybe we look to get a treaty port with the uh, Japanese. There's ways we can start expanding now that we're here. We all seem to look towards independence. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, they got 350 troops and an army force power that is just so much better than ours. So I, I don't know. Uh, but the way to get out of that starts with our economy and bidding our innovativeness. That way we can actually match them on the field of battle. Um, so it's going to take a little bit, but we're starting to go in the right direction. Uh, but for now, I'm Cosmo here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Sean, the Blue Screeners. And I'll catch you in the next one. Later.